Hello, hello everyone. How are you doing? Thank you so much for joining me. Now today we are making simple, easy sauerkraut and purple cabbage style kimchi. These are the ingredients you need at a glance. For your sauerkraut, you just need a little bit of carrot, ginger, garlic and your white cabbage and some caraway seeds. Now the kimchi style, we're going to use all the ingredients I have on my kimchi video with the added or minus ingredients of the white um, rice, brown rice flour, okay? So now we go ahead to make this. Take your outer skins off your cabbage. Guys, aim for organic because you have pesticides or non-organic. If you don't have access to organic, just give it a good wash. Keep the outer skins and the peels of the cabbage because we're going to use it at the end. But the ones that look bad, just chuck it away. You need a white mounted jar or you also need a little clip lock jar just to keep these things intact and away from air. Washing our vegetables and time to pr process them. I love using the shredder, just use them manually. I also, because I like the shape I get at the and if you do not like this, just use a food processor. It's easier because I'm not going to recommend you shredding or slicing all this much cabbage. We do that with the white and then we do that with the purple. Guys, purple cabbage, I love it though because it's good for you. But it stains my hand. It stains everything. I'm just like, what do I do? I think I should just get gloves as simple as that, isn't it? But anyway, there I digress. Back to our cabbages. Now I add a tablespoon of salt to this medium-sized head cabbage. You can add a little bit more, but not too less or too much. Too little will make you have mushy sauerkraut and too less will give too much will not be be good for you, you wouldn't enjoy the taste we massage the salt in and we let this thing sit for about half an hour at the least okay now look at the liquid we've gotten just from this thing sitting it's so good white cabbage has got easy cell walls to break and unlike in kimchi we are not rinsing we're keeping this now we go to our vegetables we just slice or shred depending depending on what you fancy okay i love still using this slice shredder because it's quick and then we're making our sauerkraut, which just added a handful of carrots, ginger, garlic, just to taste, to be honest, and caraway seeds. And that's it. Simple. I'm sure you can make this even if you shut your eyes. Guys, try this. Fermented vegetables are so good for your gut health and they can help heal your body. Give this a try and let me know how it went, okay? It's not as complicated as you think. I want everyone to be able to make this at home. Put this in a jar. Ensure there are no air pockets. That's one thing because this is an anaerobic process. We're fermenting this with natural bacteria. Smash the whole thing in and then cover it with that extra cabbage leaf and then put a glass weight. I'm using a jar just to weigh it down and look, everything is immersed in the water. So we're having everything on the water and we're putting it aside now to our purple cabbage guys we're using all the vegetables we chopped earlier and then we add in our korean pepper flakes and some mushroom powder and a little bit of brown sugar coconut sugar that's it guys mix the whole thing up and Put it in your jar again. Now you notice there's a difference here. Purple cabbage, the cell walls are quite strong. They don't release the water as easy as, you know, the liquid of the white cabbage. So we're going to do something different. Once I've put it all in the jar, I'm going to use a little like a, a, a pestle or just use an old rolling pin or whatever you've got to hand. But ideally something firm to smash this cabbage down. We're going to make sure we smash it, give it a few smashes for at least an, a minute or more. And once we've done that, we won't have the water released, but it will help the fermentation process speed up. And then we just cover it with a cabbage leaf again, put a glass jar weight and set this aside. In five days, you have lovely fermented vegetable and you can pop this in your fridge. Now, this is it as it looks on day one. Um, if I can, I'll insert a little clip of what it looks like at the end, but then it lasts in your fridge and you can even put it in the fridge now and it just, it will take a bit longer to ferment. Guys, let me know if you try this. I want you all to try making fermented. They taste delicious too, even more delicious than pig. I hope you've enjoyed enjoy this video. If you have, please share share my videos. Press smash the like button as they say, and put the notification bell on. Subscribe if you haven't. Please subscribe. I like to hear what you think, but I also want you to try this. Subscribe and smash the notification bell so you know when next I upload a video. Thank you once again. Have a lovely day. Bye.